Take a look at this little piggy. Um, it's a piggy bank and it's made with three pieces of oak and you can see I've inserted a little purple heart eyeball there and he's got a tummy underneath and when I turn him around you could put a cork here or I turned a little knob to let the money out and you can see that this will take coins unfortunately because of the design of this project it only accepts dimes maybe pennies but for sure dimes so you can see you can even slide a couple in at a time and then when it's time to take them out you can just unscrew this there we go you can shake the coins out and you're good to go so this could be a nice little gift for a grandchild or uh, anyone that might be interested in having it on display. Hope you um, make a try at making one of these and here's how you do it. In order to start this project, you're going to need three pieces of material, approximately eight and a half inches by five and a half inches. Here I've chosen to use some, um, this is scrap oak. It's not the best oak I've seen, but it'll work. You can make this out of pine or a softwood. I thought maybe the oak would make it a more lasting gift for my grandchildren. Now you can see I have three layers of wood. I have two separate patterns. I have a piggy bank here, and then I have the internal part of the piggy bank. And what I'm going to attempt to do is if you can picture this, this is the external shape of the piggy bank the two outer pieces, this one and this one, will be this shape, but there will be an inner piece that will be this shape, and the coins will fall into this cavity. So take a look and watch how I do this. So you can see now I have put masking tape around these three blocks of wood, holding them so I can band saw cut, or if you need to use a jigsaw, that would work too. I want to band saw cut through all three pieces by placing this pattern here. I have to be very careful not to cut this line because that's the pig's belly and it's only present in the center part of the pig. Okay, so I'll go ahead and clamp that down and see how this goes. So you can see here I've used some of this 3M Super 77 spray glue and I've glued my pattern down. Now I'm going to try to cut through all three pieces but avoid cutting this line. Now watch what I do. I'm going to remove the middle piggy, okay? This guy here. I'm going to take him out. I'm going to leave these two together. And on these two, I'll tape them together and then cut this out. So you can see this is the back side of the paper that's been spray glued on. And a little trick when you get paper around a piece of wood like this, you can just sand the edge. And as you sand it, it makes a perfect paper cut for you. It's a lot easier than even using a razor blade. So I'll just come along here and remove what I need to remove make it easier to cut. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this piece of wood and I need to cut out the area where the tummy is in here, where the coins fall. So, I 
have to drop the coins and I'm coming through right here. Let's see, I'll get this so you can see it. I, I'm going to make a slit for the coin to fall right through there. And then because I can't make a 90 degree turn with this bandsaw blade, I'm going to come around here and come in here and do a roll all the way around. If you make a mistake inside of here, no one is ever going to see it, so don't worry about it at all. You can see now what I end up with our three little piggies. And what I'm going to do is take this internal piece where the coins will be held, set it there. This one goes on the top. Everything is set up just perfectly. Okay, here is where we are currently. I'll take these three pieces apart. This is the outside. And then this is the piece that goes in here. The coins will fall through this slot into this chamber. This will only accept dimes due to the three quarter inch thickness of this wood. And then we place that one right there. And I think it's gonna look really nice because this tummy is hanging down low like a real pig's tummy. Just a warning. I was trying to be too generous with this cavity and I dipped too low and you could actually see that dip when you put this on. So you can see what I did is I glued a little sliver of wood in here to patch that up and I don't think anybody's ever going to notice that except for you perhaps. So when you go to glue this be careful because when you squeeze it these pigs are going to want to move. And that's not so bad to sand out here, but getting into some of these spots in here, it's going to be very tricky, so don't let it move on you. So I'll go ahead and glue it now. Well, you can see I've got every clamp I have on this little piggy, I'm trying to prevent any opening seams. And I'm going to let this rest all night. And if you attempt to do this, make sure to wipe away with a wet towel every little glue spot you see because it won't take stain or any finish in that area. It seals the wood. So we'll take a look at it tomorrow. So here we are the next morning and you can see I have a pretty nice glue up here. A little bit uneven here but I'm going to take this against the belt sander and smooth it away. A little bit of chipping here from the piece of wood that I have and that'll all be sanded with my orbital sander. And I might put a little bit of round on this edge just to take the sharpness off. So now I've tried something different. I got a plug cutter and I cut some plugs through this purple heart. And I'm going to attempt to use these plugs maybe as a couple little nostrils up front and a couple of eyeballs on the side. So we'll take a look and see how that works out. These are uh, 3 eighths of an inch and I'll drill some holes and glue them in. You have to think of a way to get the coins out. So what I'm thinking about doing is taking this 1 inch Forstner bit and kind of going in at this angle, kind of where his tail would be. And I think I could put a cork in there, but I think I'm going to make a wooden plug because I have a lathe. Here's a quick look at the setup. I have a machining clamp down here with the two pieces of oak below it to protect my piggy wood. And I have a Forstner bit here, one inch Forstner bit, and I'm going to go in on a flat surface right between these. I'm going in end grain, so I hope I don't get any chipping. Let's give it a run. And you can see I've inserted a little purple heart eyeball there. And he's got a tummy underneath. And 
And when I turn him around, you could put a cork here, or I turned a little knob to let the money out. And you can see that this will take coins. Unfortunately, because of the design of this project, it only accepts dimes. Maybe pennies, but for sure dimes. So you can see, you can even slide a couple in at a time. And then when it's time to take them out, you can just unscrew this. I've got it pretty tight in here. There we go. You can shake the coins out and you're good to go. So this could be a nice little gift for a grandchild or uh, anyone that might be interested in having it on display. Hope you um, make a try at making one of these.